See this fish? I bet you already saw this from your local aquarium shop or elsewhere. Hmm, still trying to figure out its name? Holy moly, it's the molly fish. Sounds familiar now? These aquatic species are known for being the common type of aquarium fish that most fish keepers pet. But did you know that being common is not bad at all? That's right. Being common, especially for fish, entails an undemanding requirement from the fish keeper. However, trying to make sense of all the information about the molly fish can be pretty confusing. So in today's video, I'll teach you the molly fish care that these excellent species deserve. Stay tuned until the end so you can write as many notes as possible to provide this common fish with extraordinary care. Molly fish are native to the North and South American countries of the United States, Mexico, Colombia, and Venezuela. These fish are urihaline, which means they can live in varying salinity. They are most often found in freshwater environments, brackish water and coastal areas, and breeds in pure salt water too. Molly fish vary in shape, color, and markings, but one very noticeable feature is the unusually thick base of their tails. Their heads are sharply pointed in profile when viewed from the side. It is also wide across when viewed from above, with their mouths positioned right in front of their faces. Thus, they also have enormous eyes, and their lower jaw sticks out a little further than the top. Did you know that many molly species are popular in the aquarium trade? Let's take a look at some of the more common molly fish types. First, the sailfin molly. Scientifically known as the Pocelia latipina, sailfin mollies have huge dorsal fins that they can lift to look just like a sail. Second is the shortfin molly. They are naturally silvery with some color on their fins and smaller than the sailfin, reaching a maximum size of fewer than 5 inches. The third one is the giant sailfin molly. This Mexican fish is the largest of the common species that can reach a length of 7 inches in the aquarium with 18 to 19 fin rays and round spots on this fin. Since selective breeding has refined the various molly species available, new popular breeds have emerged. Such popular molly types include white molly fish. This type of molly is a pure, bright silvery color with yellowish color and pink eyes. The other one is the golden molly fish, which can be uniformly golden colored or flecked with black like the gold dust molly. If there's a Dalmatian dog, there's also a Dalmatian molly fish. This type is whitest fish covered in fine black spots, sometimes known as marbled or salt and pepper mollies. Fourth on our list is a lyre tail molly. This type has elongated rays at the top and bottom of their tail fins. Thus, their different color varieties add a bit of flair to your tank. Lastly is the balloon molly. What sets this type apart is their rounded bodies almost like an inflated balloon, a trait that has been selectively bred for. Now that you already met the types of mollies, it's time for us to dig deeper into this beautiful fish. Let's first talk about the molly fish size. Molly fish vary in size depending on their species, variety, and gender. Females are sometimes larger than males, and adult mollies range from slightly over 3 inches to about 7 inches. Typically, molly fish lifespan ranges from 2 to 5 years, depending on their level of care, diet, and genetics. But luckily, despite their lifespan, molly fish can provide joy through their peaceful yet lively and confident temperament and activity level. However, males can be a little aggressive with one another when competing to breed and will also harass the females relentlessly, which is normal behavior for the species. They can also be quite competitive with each other around mealtimes, so make sure to feed them enough and on time. Since we've mentioned that molly fish can become semi-aggressive and highly versatile that thrive in many different setups, you should know what good tank mates will fit them best. Mollies are urihaline fish, but most other species are not, so never mix other freshwater fish with saltwater tank mates or vice versa. To help you with that, here is the list of other fish to consider as molly's companions according to the type of water they live in. At the beginning of this video, we highlighted that molly fish is one of the few fish in our hobby that can be converted to pure salt water. Still, 
they are small compared to many saltwater fish and may be bullied. So here are the few possible candidates as Molly saltwater tank mates. Mollies in saltwater aquariums are incredible algae eaters. They are amazing in coral grow out and frag tank setups. However, to avoid any problems when it comes to the molly fish tank mates, you should take note of the following tips. First, avoid tank mates that need soft acidic water conditions. Second, avoid very small or shy fish that are easily intimidated and any aggressive tank mates that could eat or bully them. And third, keeping mollies with shrimp is not recommended. Molly fish are omnivorous fish that eat both plant and animal matter. They are not fuzzy eaters but does a great job cleaning up scraps and uneaten food in the aquarium. To provide them with an appropriate diet, here are the best food sources for these fish. Mollies love to eat biofilm and surface scum. They also eat other algae like green algae, blackbeard algae, hair algae, brown algae, and blue-green algae. However, don't overfeed your molly fish because leftover food tends to rot and results in poor water quality. Overfeeding in molly fish occurs when they haven't finished everything after 2 minutes or so. That's why it's best to feed them small amounts 2 or 3 times a day rather than a large amount just once a day. From various types of molly fish down to its diet, let's now talk about the things you should take note of in setting up your molly fish tank. But before that, make sure to like this video hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell notification for your daily updates on the fish keeping hobby. In setting up an excellent aquarium for mollies, here are some of the essential things you should know. First, your tank size. You can keep the molly fish in tanks as small as 15 gallons, but 20 gallons long is a good candidate to start with. For the small tank, you could keep up to 4 mollies if you have a good water filtration and perform regular aquarium maintenance. Second is your option of plants. Although mollies thrive in planted aquariums, they are still omnivorous fish known to feed on delicate, soft-leaved plants. That's why plants like Valisneria, Amazon swords, and java ferns could make a rugged and simple but beautiful planted aquascape for these fish. Third on our list is the substrate. Substrate type is not critical when it comes to keeping mollies. Any aquarium safe sand or gravel will work just fine. If your water is not naturally hard and alkaline, it is a good idea to incorporate some crushed coral into the substrate. If you love your room decor, your molly fish sure does too. Molly fish are not particular about the decorations in their tanks, so you can use your creativity to put together an aquarium that suits your eye. Water quality is also a must to maintain. Mollies are known as hardy fish. Maintaining excellent water quality for your mollies relies primarily on good filtration and aquarium maintenance. A good filtration system usually means the difference between a sparking, new aquarium, and a toxic and dangerous environment for your fish. Biological filtration is essential for your fish because beneficial bacteria feed on poisonous chemical compounds that enter the water through fish waste and uneaten food. Air-powered sponge filters, internal power filters, hang-on back filters, and external canister filters can all be used to perform these vital functions. In terms of water parameters, mollies are adaptable to a reasonably wide range of water temperatures from about 70 degrees Fahrenheit to a little over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This means they can be kept in unheated aquariums in many cases. In a freshwater aquarium, they must be kept in rigid or at least reasonably hard water with an alkalinity of above 7.2 for their long-term health and survival. For their ammonia and nitrite levels, aim for the following. Last on our list, consider molly fish and salt. One of the biggest debates around molly fish care is their salt requirements. The salt these fish require is not necessarily regular aquarium salt. However, calcium and magnesium, the elements responsible for hardening water, are essential. All that has been mentioned should be kept in mind, but regular aquarium maintenance is still vitally important for maintaining healthy molly fish. A weekly partial water change is recommended to keep nitrate levels down, and this is an excellent time to give the tank a general clean. Additionally, testing your water parameters regularly is vital if you wish to keep healthy mollies in the long run. 
The pH, hardness, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite are the most important parameters to keep an eye on. But for brackish or salt water, having a hydrometer to measure specific gravity is a must too. Going further into our discussion, did you know that, like humans, mollies can also catch fish diseases? And for you to learn more about your mollies fish's health and wellness, you should evaluate your fish's health through careful observation. You should take note if their eyes look swollen or unhealthy, if the fins are torn or clamped against the body, if they have very long stringy white feces, if they are covered in white spots or any tiny parasites, and if the fish is very thin or heavily swollen, except for the balloon mollyfish. However, even if the fish looks physically healthy, there are still behavioral warning signs to look out for, such as their rapid breathing, trouble swimming, or just shimmying at the top of the tank, fish flashing and scratching its body against the substrate, fish floating or sinking, and fish avoiding food. If you answer yes to any of these questions, there is most likely a problem with the fish. Mollies are most likely to suffer health problems when their tank conditions are unsuitable. This can result from soft water, poor water quality, or a lack of space in a crowded tank. These beautiful fish are typically bred in brackish waters, and the shock of being put into fresh water at the pet store or in your home is another potential problem. Appearing on your screen are some of the common freshwater diseases and disorders. Mollies are hands down one of the best fish in the hobby. They look great, are adaptable, and are great for eating algae too. If you want to purchase one, you can either go to your local aquarium shop or visit available online shops on the internet. Does molly fish breeding cross your mind? You can learn it by checking out our website at aquariumstoredepot.com, where a detailed discussion about molly fish care is posted, featuring how to quickly breed mollies, how to tell the difference in terms of their sex, basic ways to raise and protect their fry, as well as how to prevent them from breeding. I hope you learned a lot from this video and hope to see you again next time. Continue reading and researching about molly fish, fish keepers. Thank you for watching.